Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am in County Mead. A long trip today, about three hours of a journey. So I'm here in Bow Park Cemetery. It's a small little cemetery and it seems to be kind of well looked after. So we'll go and look around. There seems to be one or two mausoleums here as well. So we'll take a look around and read some of these interesting stones here. Right guys, so let's go in and have a look around the old cemetery. As you can see, it's not that large. It's a couple of graves around there and a mausoleum right here in front of us. So we're not too far away from Slane Castle. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a very famous concert venue and many famous artists have performed there, Freddie Mercury, Guns N' Roses, all the big names. So this is a mausoleum is all I can say at the moment because I don't see any inscription on in it. Um, we have the old railing going all around it here and it looks like the grass has been cut all around. The gate is kind of open here so we'll look over the door, there's nothing there over the door. There is a hole, so there's a hole the far side of that. So we'll go around and probably have a look, the far side is better. And see. Yeah, so that's the door there. Big iron door. So there's all that grass cut down, tidied up. Yeah, so there's an, there's an opening here at the back, a window. And you can see on it there at the left, there was glass at this, in this window of one time or another. And you can see the glass. So it looks like it's a tomb, like enclosed. The coffins would be enclosed inside the red brick, just there. You can see on the left there, there's red brick as well. I'll probably take the phone off the gimbal and have a better look in there, but I don't think there's that I much. I think you get a better look here, if you can zoom in. Hello. Right guys, so I've come round to the door entrance here again, because there is uh, some form of inscription or writing on those tombs just in there. Now you can see there's a better one. So there's where we were at the back of those windows we were looking in. So either side there you can see red brick tombs and there's writing on the side of that one. Um, I don't know if I can read the writing from here. You can vaguely make out the writing there. So it says Harriet Burke, daughter of the fifth Earl of Mayo. So she's a daughter of an Earl. And uh, down the very bottom, just there, we have Lieutenant General, the Honourable John Jocelyn Burke. He was born on the f 5th of October, is it? Wait till I just zoom in there, guys, and see it. Um, 1883, maybe, and he died the 25th of September, 1904. So that's the plaque on his, and there's all rubble on top of it there, and bits of stone. And just this side here, then, we can see the red brick tomb. So there's coffins inside those tombs there, encased inside those. And his daughter is buried there on the left, Harriet. And the inscription is on top. Yeah, so that's it there, guys. That's all I can show you, really, in that one. There's not much to see in there, only. But it is interesting to see that it's the name on it there is the Earl of, Fifth Earl of Mayo. And if I find anything online about the Fifth Earl of Mayo, I'll put it up in the video. Right guys, so we're around the back of it. 
the mausoleum. So we're going to have a look in the back here and the windows. Look at that thick glass. So to break that glass would have been very difficult to do something like that. So there we are closer to the inside of it. And you can see the light coming through the holes. That's the door. Um, yeah, that's the tomb there again. The door. I don't see any other names or plaques. Right, guys, so here we are. This is better. So here we have the little vent there at the side. Look, there's two vents on that encased brick tomb. Um, over across the way here, at the door, you see the steps coming in at the door? There's the two more burial places there on the left. A red brick roof inside. Yeah, so that's as good as views we can get from that one. So we'll continue on and we'll look around the old cemetery here. There's another one just there. We'll go over and have a look. Right guys, I'm going back out the gate there. This mausoleum. Interesting. So we'll go over and have a look at this other one. And look at all that overgrowth growing on it there. And it does say up the top mausoleum in the inscription. Just there, mausoleum 1856. And there's the door of it. And there's a name on the door, A.G. Murray. Now, we won't be able to get a look in there, unfortunately, because straight away I can see right behind we have a stone wall. So they've blocked up the entrance way behind the door there with the stone wall. You know, and sometimes you come to cemeteries like these that are kind of well maintained and they do block up a lot of the the old mausoleums and places and crypts there's a was inscriptions there maybe at one time i can't read it on the side of it nothing on it there now nothing on that one yeah there's no inscriptions on that one guys An old, like a little house this is here. You can see like the gable end as it's called there, at that side of it. And there's a plaque on it, so we'll read the plaque on this side. So it is actually a vault, it says it there guys, look at that. Vault of Thomas Hanley. Within are deposited the remains of his beloved wife, Ellen. She died January the 22nd, 1861, aged 30, sorry, 52 years old. And also of the said Thomas himself is here, who died on the 3rd of October, 18. 75 so it is a vault and i'm thinking that when i was kind of looking at it you know it is a vault it's a vault yeah but there's no roof on it and this is the door here so the door is blocked up on the vault well i'll show you from up above there um you can see down inside it's like a hollow area down inside so the roof has gone off it, isn't it? Oh, this right here. That's the gable end, I call it, kind of, a, like a house you'd see. Do you know the, the roof? So it's a vault. So oh. the handies are buried below this little structure. Right, so that's the handy vault. 
and I've just spotted one over here. It's a beautiful Celtic cross and the railing going around it. Look at that. Lovely right, right iron working it. Yeah, there's little shamrocks on the side of the, the railing going around. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And here we have the Celtic cross with all the lovely knots. And we have a stone carving here of Our Lady. All the orange lichen or lichen that's on it. Very nice. And we'll see, is there, there's an inscription and it's on this side of the rail. And so, you know, it'll be hard to read this. Here it light the body of Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly, who departed this life. Um, sorry guys, hard to read. March 1775. Whoa. And a really Irish name, Kelly, Brian Kelly, with those lovely shamrocks on his grave. Look at that. And the, and the other side of the Celtic cross, then we have Our Lady on one side, and we have Jesus then, oh, and the crucifixion on the other side there. Uh, we've never seen that like that one. So there's more right than that, but I won't be able to get in there, and it's hard to read. Kelly says again, looks it, like Mary Kelly. Kelly family, yeah, Mary. Couple of names there, Kelly's. There's a lot of headstones, you see. Look at that one. Broken. The whole top is, or side is gone off this one here. Look at that. It's almost black. There's a date here on this side. The back of it is all like black stone, yeah. Well. Let's see what date's on this. Is the, it right there? Look. No, all the writing is gone. It just says. Requies. Requies in pace, is it? Mm. So this writing has gone off it. And you can see up the top here it says aged, but the rest of it is missing. So I don't know where the rest of that has gone. Very warm here today. Oh, it's that dead heat. There's no breeze really. Killed with hay fever. Hay fever, oh. flies, everything, you name it. So we have um, a couple of graves around here we have a John Cusack here, who died in 1950, aged 20, 27 years old. And his brother Francis died in 1977, aged 40. Lovely sacred heart on it. So there's a better view. There we have the two mausoleums that we were looking at. Now this is a crypt, as you can see. And look at the railing that goes around it, and it's such an unusual shape. A circular yeah. formation, yeah, and the gate is here. It's all blocked. And off. that's all in there. That's blocked off as well, guys. There's a big wall behind that. Look the ivy. And the ivy's growing all over it. You can't even see the steps, but there would be steps going down into it there. And uh, you know when people look after the area like that. It's on a kind of a road where there's busy cars coming and you know people do look after areas and they like to block up all these places. Well, it stops vandalism, but that is a huge crypt as well, yeah. It stops the vandalism, yeah, and people but interfering. I, I think that fault would have been located right beside the old church that was here. Yeah, there was a ruin of a church here at one time or another. But you could nearly walk you can you can nearly stand on the roof, you're so close to the ground. Look at that. See, so that's actually up, it's up to my knees, that roof, of the, so that is huge, look at the roof in it, that would hold several coffins in there, yeah. um, very, very big area, very, very big area, so it's attached, to this old stone there belonged to the old church to the left, all that what you see in front of you there, the stone, that's what remains of the old church. Someone crossed the road cutting the grass today. 
maintaining the area, I don't know if they're working here or not, doing this area, route iron railing, stone slab in there, and it's very hard to read those old stone slabs. But guys, look what we have oh my God. on this railing here. I've never seen this before. That is amazing. Skull and crossbones. Wow. On the railing. Look at that. Look at look the, his teeth. There's teeth and everything. Look at this one. Is, How creepy look, does that look? The faces are different. So we have the teeth shown in this one. Not on this one. This one here, we have like the skull decayed, maybe a bit more. We'll go around and look at the other side. Very interesting. Oh my goodness. There's teeth on this one as well. Look at that. I thought you wouldn't see stuff like this only in Scotland. Or yeah. so that it's, is. Well, is there a gate to get in? Look at the skull and crossbones. If you could read that. Wow, what uh, is that about? Like? You can just see inside of there. But I don't know if I'd be able to read in there, guys. Um, if I shine the torch from here, maybe, no? No, you won't see from there. And it's hard to see in the daylight. Um, Eliza, maybe, it looks like, is it? It's very hard to read it. Um, shine the torch for a second. I'll just try and read this, guys, because this is very interesting. Edmund. Edmund. Francis, maybe. Edmund Francis. The remains of Edmund Francis. Um, only surviving son of... Only surviving son of... Very, very hard to read. Aged, we have a date here, look, 1838, aged 28 years old. So it's Edmund Francis is his name, and he's the only surviving son. I've never seen anything like that. Well, not the only, he could be a surviving son. Yeah, well, maybe he'd already buried children or something, maybe. Edmund, surviving son of, and it's covered in ivy. Yeah. It looks like, yeah, 28 years old, it says. In 1858. But you can just see... I'll get back out again, guys. The skull and crossbones on it. It's so unique. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Look at that. Wow. Loads of old headstones along the way. So there's a lovely, a great find there. Something we didn't know was there. Very unique to see that in Rout Iron Railings in Ireland. Especially. Um, this looks like a kind of a wheel or something. Yeah, I like sunflowers here. Sunflowers. Look at all that lichen has taken over that. It's nearly impossible to read it, isn't yeah. it? And I've never seen that before in the middle there, that no. circular formation thing. Maybe it's... someone in the comments will know. Someone might know what that means, yeah. I found one here, look. Look at this one. Simple kind of railing that goes around it. Infant son here, it says John Ralph. Died the 26th of September, 1899. Lovely Ogle, his name is John Ralph, because we can see the name here. Is that O-G-L-E? Ogle, is that Ogle? I've never seen that name. Who died June the 17th, 1859, aged 48. And also, Susanna, who died 1873, aged 19. That's this one here. Unusual, isn't it? 
Small headstone. Oh, you in? What name is that? Sabella. It's Georgina. The beloved child of William. Harriet. Harriet. Carpenter. Who died 1805 maybe. Yeah. Aged 15 months. So it's a baby's grave. I N R I is it? I N R I. I don't know. So Sabella Georgina, fifteen months old in eighteen hundreds. Lovely little headstone there. For the young child, said to see all the young ones. An angel on this one here. I don't know if you can see that. See it better there now. Yeah, angel and wings on it. Very hard to read these headstones. You know what that one looks like? It's me now. It's like the arm with the sword. Do you remember we've seen that yeah. before? The arm holding up the sword. They're so open here, I suppose, you know, they're covered. And then the bits of the old church just left. That's all the old church room there. Yeah, so there's not much to see in here now, guys. But, I mean, we've seen two interesting ones there now. The two mausoleums. Um, we could see inside one there. Where the glass was broken, the windows. So there was a bit, little bit of vandalism there. But it doesn't look like it's vandalised inside. Um, the red brick tombs inside. Interesting. I'm going to look up that about the earls. The skull and crossbones and that railing just back there that's very interesting as well a few little interesting things here the vault there of the hanleys and all those so that's it for me guys here i think i'll wrap it up at that bow park cemetery in county mead if you like this video and you like this kind of stuff please give it a thumbs up it helps the channel to grow um, subscribe and hit the notification bell and don't forget to comment underneath the video I like to see people's comments and find out where you're from or how you found the video or the these finds here today I found so for me here guys take care God bless